Hello, welcome. This is Teen Coders, and my name is Christy Maru. I'll be your tutor for the day. Okay, our topic today is abstraction. We'll be talking on abstraction, and at the end of this lesson, you should be able to learn how to separate informations that is taking the one that is important and leaving the one that is not so important at that particular time. So now what is abstraction? Abstraction simply means removing details that are not needed. Can we take that again? Abstraction means removing details that are not needed. Now in our everyday life we get to face problems but we can't do everything at the same time. We need to remove what is important and focus on it. So in everyday life we tend to use abstraction. So let's use an example. You are faced with the problem of getting to school and you know that to get to school you must wear your school uniform. So now your parents ask you to go get your school uniform. You get to your wardrobe. Do you pick all the clothes from the wardrobe and present to your parents? No. You pick your school uniform. So now who can tell me what in the wardrobe you would pick out? Can I get it from the class? Good. I like that example. Okay. Can someone tell me something else? All right. So we're going to pick out your school branded shirts. You're going to pick out your shorts. You're going to pick out your gowns or your skirts. That is for the girls. And you're going to pick out your socks, right? Now, those are the things you need to wear to head to school. So that way you are able to abstract your school uniform from all your clothes. That doesn't mean that you won't wear the other clothes, but right now what you need is your school uniform. Okay? Is that okay? Alright. So now let's take another example. Watching this video right now, you clicked on an application and you assessed it with either a phone, a computer, a MacBook. You are using a device right now to assess this video. Now, for you to get here, you didn't click on every application on your phone. You selected a particular application and you are here right now. So that way you are able to abstract this from every other thing. It doesn't mean that the other ones are not important. They are still useful and they are still going to be used. But right now what you are focused on is this application that you are using to watch this video. Okay? So when we are when you are coding, it's not so much different. It's the same thing. Coders still follow, still use abstraction methods to solve a problem. Now let's talk about creating a game. When you create a game and you program it, you give it codes. Do you show your codes to your end users? No. You just you hide your codes and then you show them the end product. If you are um, building a game, you hide your codes and then you only present your game to everybody to play. It's that easy. So that way you are able to use the abstraction method. Now, let's take for example, you have um, dirty dishes in the kitchen and you are being asked to wash a particular plate. You get into the kitchen and you wash a cup. You have not solved any problem. That is, that is not a problem being solved. Although you washed something, but you did not wash what was asked of you, and that is the plate. Instead, you wash the cup. So that's the same thing that applies to coding. If you are being told to put a tag somewhere and you don't, then you have actually failed that program. So everything needs to follow to the right detail. Okay? Do we understand? All right. So with this, we've come to the end of the class. And I would like to ask you some questions. Who remembers the topic of the day? Okay, you. Abstraction. Good. So what is abstraction? Okay. Abstraction simply means removing details that are not 
needed abstraction means removing details that are not needed okay can i get an example of abstraction all right she said picking out a party dress for a school party that's a very good example she won't wear everything in her wardrobe she needs to pick a particular one that's a very good example all right so for your assignment give me an instance where you use the abstraction method to solve a problem so you can drop your answers in the comment section below don't forget to like subscribe and comment also if you need more information you can visit our website at www.tincoders.com.ng until then stay safe stay healthy i'll see you in the next class